All right, today we're gonna do an upgrade on Lund 1700 Fisherman. We're gonna go from a three bank charger to a four bank charger. Add another battery. Let's get started. Well, first things first, we're gonna get the bimini out of here. I don't feel like fighting with that. Get the access door open. And then we got a battery tray to install. One battery back here to disconnect. Two batteries in here to disconnect. And once that's done, we can start taking the battery charger out. All right, so we're gonna make note of how this is a 24 volt system in the front. There's your black negative and your red positive for the main power for the front of the boat. We have a jumper, I'm assuming from positive to negative. Let's take a peek here. Yep, positive to negative. So, then we have two leads for the battery charger, for a battery charger. So, we'll dismantle that, get these out of here, and get ready for the next, the rear. Looks like these are our 9 sixteenths. Don't cross any of your terminals. I'm gonna wrap these ends up with electrical tape. This one's a fuse. And I'll show you what that looks like when I'm done. So the batteries are out. Cables are all electrical taped. I did find Connection was loose on this fuse, so I put some tape on that. Come back and met this one. Now we'll find it. Let's do this guy. Yep, oh, this guy popped off. So we'll recrimp that. Get her back going. You can put a new end on it, we'll see. Now we gotta pull those wires out. First we're gonna take the battery charger out, or unmount it at least, and get the cables pulled, but we're gonna leave, um, put electrical fish on these first. So we can pull back through. Let's get the electrical fish out. Got it hooked up, all taped up, ready to pull back through. Just staggering these fuses so they're not right on top of each other. In order to fit through that hole, make sure you don't pull this regular power back through. And I'll go to attach the charger from the compartment up there and start pulling these back through. So here's the current hard charger. Power in. Looks like there's two Phillips screws at the top, hopefully. And dismount that and that corner down in there. That's where the cables are coming from. And so we'll start pulling those out. And we've got the next battery to take care of back there. Put another plate or a bracket, what do we call it? Battery tray to the right of that. And we'll do the same process as the fish to that back there. All kind of electronics on the starting battery. Not a fan. So that dropped out pretty easily. So now I'll we'll wiggle these out. I'm not going to film it. Pull those back through. So two of them will come out for now. And then we got the long run. It's uh, probably an extension on it. I did buy a extension kit. For my fourth lead off of Amazon. I'll leave a link to it. Um, as you can see, you just, there's a fuse and another set of fuses. But this is for a Pro Mariner. My next one's made by a different company. This is a Pro Mariner, I believe. And this would work great with that, so I'm assuming it's going to work fine with the next one. But, yeah, get that taken care of and show you what that looks like next. So it seemed like too tight a fit to pull two at once, so I'm just pulling one at a time. So I'm just going to pull the one through right away and then fish the next one. All right, try number three. Let's hook it up to just one of them. That was a little small. I mean, the hole's fine here, but up in the front over there. It's a little small, 
I'm gonna have to make it bigger in order to get all four cables through. It's tight. All right, so I know I made it with, through with the fish. That's not the biggest hole in the world. I don't know how we got it through with the three, but we're probably gonna run the these two in there. I probably should do the far back one first. In hindsight. But now we got I only have one fish, so we're gonna have to go with this. I don't have any wire to just tie off. I might, but we'll see. Get this disconnected and move on to the back. So I decided to pull a wire back through and use the fish to the back and just get this thing out of here completely. Uh, some leftover wire from I know where, but we're going to tape it off and pull it back through. And thank you for the person who donated, donated that wire to me. Appreciate it. Get this taken care of. Of course, I taped it up before I pull it back through. Well, hell. We'll show you how I pull it back through. See how that goes. Let's get back in this compartment. Not that you guys probably haven't ever seen this before. I'm just fishing it through the way I would have. So pull it back through. There it is. And there it is. So we're good to go there. All right, so now we're gonna go back here. There's the new battery tray that's gonna go to the right here, open the door. Of course, we got rid of the bimini so we can get underneath here. And we got an easy troll, two down riggers, two fish finders, kicker motor starter, big motor starter. So there's a few things on there that need to go. I don't think there's anything else. Just the one, two, three, four, five, six things on there. We're just gonna leave the the two batteries on or the two motors on there. And then I'll put the all electronics on this new battery over here with the battery tray. So we'll get all that pulled out and sorted out. And I'll show you what that looks like after the battery's out. Of course, throughout all of this, make sure your main power is off. Don't touch any terminals together. Or any crest wrenches across terminal, you'll have quite the sparks and fireworks show, if not glowing wrenches. So be careful with that, and also careful of any metal, like the above this might be metal, there's metal there. Just watch out, be careful. So I got all the reds taped up, all the black ones are just in there loose. Pull the battery, all the power's been disconnected. I'm gonna sort these wires out and then try to find that battery charger cable and then fish that back to the front. I'm gonna have to drill a bigger hole. So we'll use that spare white wire I have. If I drill to the bigger drill bit and hone that out up, up up front, I think that hole sizably bigger so I can get four cables through with all the fuses. So now that I got all the wires separated out, <coughs> two down riggers, a kicker, the big motor, that's two, four, six, eight wires. There should be a, a main power, master power, that's 10. And then a pair of battery charger cables, which I think these are. So now we gotta get back down the hole find out which ones those are so we'll do that next probably won't be able to show that but we're gonna get the the old fish hooked up again pull it towards the front so it's a little difficult because the wires in the back are different than the wires up here so to figure out which battery where it is, which a uh, charger cable it is. So all three batteries are lit up because there's an issue. I know the first two are disconnected. The third one's disconnected now. I figured out what my wire was. Is it goes from there. It must go under and up. Up through here. Down along the side. That access port goes down. There's a tube. Not that one. This one. 
there's a tube inside there that goes down into here and out into here. And so what I did is I will hook this wire back up and that will prove that that is the battery charger. Everything's off right now except for one negative. I'll show you what that looks like after I connect it. All right, so I'll plug the charger back in. As you can see, I have power out here. Look back then. It's coming on. Note the battery number three is not lit up. It says it's charging. This thing does work really good. I just need a fourth battery, like I said, while I'm doing this. So. Now we'll take a look up here. You see that that three is not lit up anymore. The only thing hooked up to the battery. So that is the battery charging cable. You don't want to pull the wrong one because that one's a long ways. And now I got to use that to pull two forward up to here. That's it. All right, so far I got from out of there, fished under, up through that wall from there to here. I gotta find it up here and then keep going. Eee. All right, so it's getting a little more interesting. I'd take this panel out. There's two bolts on this side, three across the floor, two against the wall. Dropped off the speaker wire. Now, I've got it fished all the way up to here, but this guy goes down there. You can see someone spliced it. I may cut it here and then butt join it again and then get it over to the other side. That's the plan. So you can see here they're they're butt jointed. I'll probably do the same thing. I'll just cut them here. Pull this wire, leave my fish all the way up to here. There's my fish from the back try to get two wires over to here fun times it's gonna be interesting oh boy hey only a I don't know a couple hours worth of work Pulling wires, tearing my whole boat apart. Had to take out one panel. And the thing that was blocking me the whole time was this stupid tube. The one to the left. I was just getting hung up on that a little bit. That white wire there is my fish. So I got a fish from there to this fish. But man, I got it out. Now to start wiring the new stuff in. I'm going to have to hone out this hole a little bit bigger though and not chew up my two wires or lose them. See how it goes. So I had to order a bigger extension. I got a 15 footer off Amazon. One comes Wednesday or two days from now. I'll add it. But here's the replacement. Professional series. Delta View. Dual Pro. It's the PS4 models, so there's, I used to have one in a Lund Baron, same thing, but just throw them in the Lunds. Works really well, um, not for lithium batteries. You can get a program for lithium batteries, I believe, but I'm just using regular batteries. And can I continue on my project. All right, so I started pulling here, and the wire came off, so I had to find an alternate route. I couldn't go through that passage up there anymore. So I blasted a hole. I had to take this cover off. I'm gonna pull these through one at a time. There's kind of a V channel that I've got this wire, the white wire to go through. Of course, I had to use this big sucker to get through it because this couldn't get through the metal. Got a little messed up, and plus it's probably kind of dull. So I'll let you know if that works out. I successfully got one through. 
Now if we can get two, that'd be wonderful. It's getting a little tight. Now I'm shooting for number two. Put the wire in there, shove it down. Came right out the other side. I f bomb and did it. I don't even know what time it is. It's been hours. I just gotta wait for an extension. I can tie the current one in and finish just get these panels back on at least. Come back and do this one later. Oh my gosh, so happy. Finish it up. All right, so I pulled that first one from there. And as you can see, I tied a second wire at the back of it. So I can pull the next one through. And I'm ready to try that out next. All right, so I got the second one pulled. So we'll get that untied. We'll get this mounted, our cord. One of the ends came off, so I gotta fix that. So we'll work on that stuff and show you what it all looks like put back together up here. Uh, we gotta make sure everything's not touching back in there before we hook the batteries up. So, show you that in a minute. I had one terminal in, so I replaced it and I gotta go get one more. Maybe one of these. Too big. We'll see. All right, so I got the battery tray installed with some self-tapping screws, as well as the charger. It's all ready to get things plugged in. Power cord fits in there pretty good. Got two going down the hole, two out the back. Batteries down in the hole. I need one more end. Battery trays mounted back there. Just waiting on an extension. I have one extension on there already. It's not wired up. But getting close. All right, so I got the front uh, two batteries set up to 24 volt. <clears throat> they have the the black main negative and the red main positive with the fuse in line. We have bank three positive on positive, negative on negative, bank four positive on positive, negative on negative. We have our jumper, which makes the 24 volt. 12 plus 12 is 24 from plus to negative and that should be good to go i am actually going to run a test by plugging this in these other uh, i think this is bank four three two and one you know it says a one on it so two they have little numbers somewhere on them Yep, there's a two. This one should have a one. Yeah, it doesn't. That one's one. That one's two. No, there's a three down there, but. Anyways, I have these taped off so they're not going anywhere. So I can actually plug the boat in and try this out and see if the. how it's reacting up in front. Yeah, at least waiting for these two 15 foot extensions to come and while I wait at least we'll know if this works all right so here's the moment of truth I'm plug this in and see how it's gonna work Two. That looks pretty 
prom thing. That one's full. That one's full. Yay. So after those bunk for a while, we'll figure out that they're fully charged. That's good news. So we got the front 24 volt system set up right. Now I just gotta get to the back. I could probably test those today here too. Pull the battery up and hook it up. Take those two batteries and bring them over here. See how it goes. All right, so now we're gonna try it with all four batteries plugged in. This thing plugged in. Ah. Upside down, of course. starter battery and are charged a little low but yeah everything looks like it's working good I just gotta get my two extensions and everything plugged into the back and I'm ready to go boating so looks like that one just needs to charge for a bit everything's looking good like how I did all this, please subscribe. It was a bit of work getting the wires through this pillow section back here. But man, worth it. Get all the electronics on one battery. That's the way to do it. You can have just your motors on a battery. I'll have my uh, my two 24 volt batteries will run my electric anchor and my trolley motor. And then those guys are just sitting there for now. One will be for my Dawn Riggers and my two Hummingbird Fish Finders and my radio and my main power. Yeah, my radio and main power will probably still go on the crank ba starter battery, which is the first one. And then the next one over is battery number two, which would be my electronics. Now that they're all on a charging system, I'll be good to go. Maybe someday. If it sits out remote, I'll put a solar panel on here. Until then, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Hope you enjoyed this. I'll add a little bit more to the end here while I tie everything else back up under the hatch there. But thank you for watching. Just thought I'd show us as I quit videotaping. They all turn green. And those will all turn solid once it's plugged in for a while. The microprocessor that's programming will figure that out just to leave it in the maintenance mode. Well, as you can see, all the batteries are solid. Solid lights. Green means go. Looking good. All right, so I'm just gonna finish taping these ends up. One of the ends were bigger than the other so I couldn't get the caps to secure on so I'm just gonna electrical tape them see if we can get that kind of put away and we're gonna install the batteries get the wires all hooked up test a couple things out before we get this panel put back in here and then move on to tying up the back of the boat where the new transducer is and cock and secure that with new straps Well, I'm checking these out before I plug up this cover. I found one of my fuses was broken. So let's come back and repair that another day. But the rest looks okay. So I have fuses back here and I'll have, I have eight, four more up in the front or in the back of the boat. All right, so that's all secured. 
just uh, line number two seems to be the one that has a fuse out so I'll just have to remember which line that is in the back Let's see if it works or not I'm sure that fuse has been opened up it's not gonna work but you never know it might just barely make contact I doubt it anyways have to figure out what fuses those take from the manufacturer of the battery charger and we'll just continue we'll put this cover on last all right here we go with one of the final portions of the project getting the batteries installed once all that's all done and tested tuck these last couple cables away underneath the cover here and then we'll get the back buttoned up and there we go we got control master to deal with we're gonna put two two main batteries on or the two motors on the left all the electronics over here on the right with the master power we'll see how that goes i believe these have alternators and to keep this one charged but i typically use it and plug it in after i'm done anyway so Shouldn't be a big deal. All these batteries seem to be pretty good. This one was bought last year, <coughs> March of 2023. This one's a little older, 820. So this one's probably the oldest one I got, but that's what I'm gonna beat up the most with electronics. At least I won't be stranded. All right, so, so far I've got the charger lead one, bank one on this starter battery for the Two motors got the kicker motor and the main motor hooked up now we're gonna hook up two down riggers two master powers the bank number two and this control master pro three all right so it's all tied up back together just need two sheet rock screws to lock that guy down in there so it doesn't bounce around. I'm gonna fire everything up and see how it goes. See what sizzles. All right, let's go over here. So, well, I'll try the big motors first. Here's the kicker. That one works. Big motor. Yep, that one fires. So those are on their own with the battery charger. Master power came on. Do this once. Now we got everything else set up on here. Try it out. That one's coming on too. That's good. The navigation lights I don't have on build. You can hear it. No, I can hear it. I don't know if you can. Accessory works. Interior lights work. Aerator. Yep. Aerator is okay. So I would say they have success. I'll do it the back. I got a little bit of an issue. One of my fuses. Pull that cap out and that one out. I'm gonna have some replacement 30 amp fuses. Switch it back out with. That's what they look like. So we'll be working on that today. So far, I got a screwdriver, a thin tip, and some needle nose pliers to try to pluck those out. Well, I got most of it out with the pliers. Now I get the little silver metal cap out the other end. I gotta get a smaller screwdriver, flathead or something, and then bend it a little bit and then try to pluck it with a needle nose. Well, I got it out. As you can see, I had to smash it down quite a bit. So I have some eyeglasses screwdrivers, a bunch of different sizes. That was the smallest one that worked out the best. I had to push it down in the hole you see it's flat and uh 
stick it on the, between the edges and pry it towards the center. Once I got it smushed enough, I put this bigger screwdriver in the center of the cap and then I just turned it and slowly worked it back out backwards and it came out. So now those are cleaned up and ready for a new fuse. So we'll get things put together. And here it is going back in together. I just kind of slid it in there, made sure it's seated. And then I can't do this with just one hand, so I'm going to plug it back together and that should be it. And then I'll plug it in and see if all four lights turn on on the battery charger. It all plugged in. Looks like there's a red light going on over there on the left. That's the one that was fed. The other three are fully charged. Looks like we're charging. Yep, we got contact. It's just a fuse, but I take out that whole panel. Get that fuse in there because I just got a short, can't really reach behind that cover. So it's just like that one. It's right there. Move under there. It's these two screws with nuts, three screws on the floor, and one or two up against the right on the right side of the steering wheel. Get that put back together and should be good to go. Alright, she's all back together. It's kind of a pain. Let's up here and see what we got. Our lights. Two bars. It's charging. Three solids. So I'd say we're good to go. This thing's all complete. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. That'd be wonderful. Hope you enjoyed it. Well, everything's right in the world. All green lights. The fuse work. If you liked the video, please subscribe, like, thank you very much.